the Inca. The Chimor kingdom was eventually succeeded in the late 15th century by an invading force from the mountains far to the south. In the late 14th century, the Inca were a small community in the area of Cusco, a city located at the altitude of 10,000 feet in the mountains of southern Peru. In the 1440s, however, under the leadership of their powerful ruler, Pachacuti, sometimes called Pachacutec, or he who transforms the world, the Inca launched a campaign of conquest that eventually brought the entire region under their complete authority. Under Pacacuti and his immediate successors, Topa Inca and Huayna Inca, the word Inca means ruler, the boundaries of the empire were extended as far as Ecuador, central Chile, and the edge of the Amazon basin. <clears throat> For Inca politics and society, uh, Pacacuti created a highly centralized state with a stunning concern for mathematical precision. He divided his empire, called Tehuantinsuyu, or the world of the four quarters, into provinces and districts. Each province contained about 10,000 residents and was ruled by a governor related to the royal family. Excess inhabitants were transferred to other locations. Uh, the capital of Cusco was divided into four quarters, or residential areas, and the social status and economic functions of the residents of each quarter were rigidly defined. The state was built on forced labor. Often entire communities of workers were moved from one part of the country to another in order to open virgin lands or engage in massive construction projects. <coughs> Under Paca, uh, Pacacuti, Cusco was transformed from a city of mud and thatch into an imposing metropolis of stone. The walls, built of close-fitting stones without the use of mortar, were a wonder to early European visitors. The most impressive structure in the city was a temple dedicated to the sun. According to a Spanish observer, all four walls of the temple were covered from top to bottom with plates and slabs of gold. Equally impressive are the ruins of the abandoned city of Machu Picchu, built on a lofty hilltop far above the Urubamba River. Another major construction project was a system of 24,800 miles of highways and roads that extended from the border of modern Colombia to the point south of modern Santiago, Chile. Two major roadways extended in a north-south direction, the one through the Andes Mountains and the other along the coast, with connecting routes between them. <coughs> Rest houses and storage depots were placed along the roads, suspension bridges made of braided fiber and fastened to stone abutments on opposite banks were built over ravines and waterways. Use of the highways was restricted to official and military purposes, however. Trained runners carried messages rapidly from one way station to another, enabling information to travel up to 140 miles in a single day. In rural areas, the population lived mainly by farming. In the mountains, however, the most common form of uh, was terraced agriculture, or terraced agriculture, watered by irrigation systems that carried precise amounts of water into the fields, which were planted with maize, potatoes, and other crops. The plots were tilled by collective labor, regulated by the state. <clears throat> and like other aspects of Incan society, marriage was strictly regulated as well, and men and women were required to select a marriage partner from within the immediate tribal group. For women, there was some, one escape from a life of domestic servitude. Fortunate maidens were selected to serve as chosen virgins in temples throughout the country. Noble women were eligible to compete for service in the Temple of the Sun at Cusco, <clears throat> while commoners might hope to serve in temples in the provincial capitals. Punishment for breaking the vow of chastity was harsh, and few evidently took the risk. Uh, the Inca were the last civilization to flourish in South America before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. Uh, the impressive system of roads constructed to facilitate communication uh, shows the extent of Inca control throughout the Andes Mountains. And again, you have all the way from Santiago in the south, past the Andes Mountains and Le uh, Lake Titicaca uh, to Machu Picchu and Cusco. 
uh, before going up to uh, Concon in the north. Like many other civilizations in pre-Columbian Latin America, the Inca state was built on war. Soldiers for the 200,000-man Inca army, the largest and best armed in the region, were raised by universal male conscription. Military units were moved rapidly along the highway system and were by vouched in the rest houses located along the roadside. Because the Inca had no wheeled vehicles, supplies were carried on the backs of llamas. Once an area was placed under Inca authority, the local inhabitants were instructed in the Quechua language, uh, which became the lingua franca of the state, and were introduced to the state religion. The Inca had no writing system, but they did keep records using a system of knotted strings called quipu, uh, which maintained or which were maintained by professionally trained officials that were able to record all data of a numerical nature. What could not be recorded in such a manner numerically was committed to memory and then recited when needed. The practice was apparently not invented by the Inca. Our fragments of Kipu have been found at Corral and dated at approximately 5,000 years ago. Uh, for no apparently, uh, nor apparently was the experiment limited to the Americas. A passage in the Chinese classic, The Way of the Tao, or Tao, declares, let the people revert to communication by knotted cords. <clears throat> As in the case of the Aztecs and the Maya, the lack of a fully developed writing system did not prevent the Inca from realizing a high level of cultural achievement. Uh, most of what survives was recorded by the Spanish and consists of entertainment for the elites. Uh, the Inca had a highly developed tradition of court theater, including both tragic and comic works. Uh, there was also some poetry composed in blank verse and often accompanied by music played on reed instruments. Um, I do want to talk about the Paracas royal mummy. Uh, the ancient residents of coastal Chile developed complex methods for mummifying their dead more than 4,000 years ago, and this practice continued up through Inca times. In Peru, the Paracas culture, around 200 BCE to 500 CE, bundled up its rulers in extensive layers of sumptuously embroidered textiles. The body was placed in the fetal position, adorned with articles of value such as a crown of feathers, animal skins, and gold and bone jewelry. The mummy was then interred in a chamber with other deceased members of the community. Food offerings of maize and peanuts accompanied the mummy for sustenance in the afterlife. And then next we will move on to stateless societies in the Americas.